Um, I had actually just filmed a video over doing my butterscotch pie, and well, not just this morning I did, and I was fixing to work on my supper, and I thought about uh, showing you how I did my supper last night and what I'm doing tonight and carrying it on over. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you, I, I've actually got a video about my roasted chicken, how I make my roasted chicken. Well, last night I didn't get it marinated, or yesterday, I didn't get it marinated early in the morning like I normally would, so I didn't have my uh, spices and stuff mixed up. So I hurried up and grabbed my fajita mix, which is basically the same ingredients in my marinade that I have on my chicken, my rub marinade, it's a rub marinade, and I have a video to that, but I'm going to share with you my fajita mix, because it's basically the same thing, it's just different ratios of the spices. Well, last night, whenever my husband ate it, he said, this is better than the, ones, the other one that you make. So I thought, well, okay, well, good. But tonight, with this roasted chicken, because I, he ate one of the breasts and I ate one of the legs, it's just me and him, so there's a bunch of chicken here. So what I like to do with that is make something different for a couple nights after that. So tonight I'm going to make chicken fajitas with this. And it's perfect because I've seasoned it with the fajita mix already. And then the next day I'm going to make my uh, chicken salad. And we'll eat on that actually for a day or two. So I'm going to share with you this. Uh, because I used all that last night on my marinade. And I keep this, I don't know if you can see or not. But I had printed that out and put it on this bottle. See, it was just a reusable bottle. I really want another bottle, but where I taped this on there, I've changed it. It's been like that for years and years now. But anyway, um, I keep the recipe on there so when I'm out, I can just do it. And I'm actually doubling this recipe because it, I've got on here one tablespoon each. And I'm going to do two tablespoons each so it'll fill my bottle up a little bit better. And it's super simple. You take... A tablespoon and you take two tablespoons of sugar two tablespoons of chili powder two tablespoons of garlic powder tablespoons of onion powder, guys I don't know if you're like me but onion powder in particular is bad to harden up especially if it's near your stove anywhere because of the moisture content. I keep the little silicone packs out of different things that we you know you get and I stick them in some of these spices that are bad to get uh, what's the word? Firmed up. Two tablespoons of cayenne. And I don't use two tablespoons. I use one. That wasn't quite one, so let me just add more. You can use two if you want to. I just, I like the heat, but not too much heat. Well, I just bought some more paprika. Two tablespoons of paprika. And this is regular paprika. This is not smoked paprika. Which, smoked paprika would be good. I suggest, though, and this is me, just because I like stuff a little spicy, but not super spicy. If you do use smoked paprika, remember smoked paprika is a lot hotter than regular paprika. I might use a ratio of one, and I'm just hypothetically saying one ratio, one tablespoon of spiced, or smoked paprika and one tablespoon of Regular. And then two tablespoons of cumin. For me, I'm not a huge cumin fan, but I do like the flavor of it. So I cut that short about a half a tablespoon. But that's me. Now, I simply mix this up. No. Mix her up. So far, I've not had no trouble with this clotting up like that, so I, but y'all use it so quick that I don't have to. 
I need to actually triple this up as much as I use it. Especially now that he likes his chicken marinated in it. That, that makes it easier for me. I probably will. I'll probably make me a pint-sized jar of this. Because that's what I do with my shake and bake. I make my own shake and bake, and I make it in a quart size jar. And that way, I keep it in the freezer, and when I need it, it's ready. And I use, like, my leftover bread that's getting stale for the week, or buns, or just any kind of bread like that I have. And I'll do that for you one day. And I just simply... Filled up my jar. Or my container. Well, that's all of that. Now, I'll get with it and I'll cut up some of this chicken and I'll show you how I'll do my chicken fajita. Okay, guys. Got my skillet here and I've got some um, olive oil in it. You can add whatever kind of oil you want to do this. But I chose olive oil. I've got my chicken shredded up and I've got the rest of my chicken here that I need to put in the refrigerator so that I can use it for my chicken salad that I'll be doing a video on and show you how I take that chicken from whole chicken down to nothing. But then I've got my marinade. I've got me a whole onion here and I'm just cooking this for me and my husband so I'm just making enough for me and him. But you're welcome to double this recipe and you have more. Now this here guys, which it says it's coconut oil, is, I like to say that jug, um, this is cut up sweet peppers. And I'm going to simply throw me some of these in there. What I do with these is I cut them up in pieces and I lay them all out on a cookie sheet and I freeze them. And then after I freeze them, I put them in the jar and that keeps them good and solid. So let me throw this in the freezer real fast before they start melting down. So here is where we are right now. You can add other things to this, whatever you would like to add to it. This is what I add to mine. So we'll let this cook down some and we'll be back. We're still cooking this down. I turned my heat up a little bit so I can get some char going on. And you know guys, uh, like you've seen me, I also do my onions this way that I get from out of the garden. I will do the same way I did the, I told you I did these. And even if you don't have a garden, guys, like if I'm if I'm at the grocery store and they've got a bunch of onions or a bunch of peppers that are, you know, on the clearance rack or whatever, I will grab them boogers and I will take them home and do exactly what I said about, you know, cutting them up and putting them in the freezer on a cookie sheet and then freezing them because that makes it easy to save them that way. And... It's just a blessing to have them handy to get to. Because peppers in their cells, unless you can them some other way, when it comes to using them in these way, this way here, you know, that's the only way you can do it is to freeze them. Unless you just have them fresh. Okay guys, so I got this chart about where I want it. See the good char on some of that? I got my heat turned back down. And now I'm going to add my chicken. Uh, what I was wanting to tell you too, though, 
is last night when I made that chicken, I used this, and I just uh, what I did is I um, washed my chicken down, patted it dry, coated it with a little olive oil, and then I just sprinkled this all over it. But before I sprinkled this all over it, I, sp I poured um, I sprinkled salt all over it first, and then I sprinkled this all over it, and put it in the oven. I didn't marinate that one, which I was surprised, like I said, my husband said that one was better than the other one, which like I said, the other one that you uh, that's on my website is actually the same ingredients, I'm pretty sure it was, but uh, it got different ratios, but he loved that on this chicken, and then I've got it right here. So there's our fajitas, guys. That's all there was to it. Now you can make you some rice, some Mexican rice or something with this if you want. We are not because we're watching our carbs. Trying to, anyway. We don't do the greatest at it, but potatoes and rice is something we're trying to stay away from. Uh, that helps, anyway. So there's our fajitas. They're done. They didn't take 20 minutes at the most. And supper will be ready. I've got my tortilla shells. I've got some sour cream. I've got cilantro. You can put on what you want to put on. I've even got some taco sauce for that matter. I've got some salsa. So it'll be a great meal, guys. And just a little jiffy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I hope you give this a try. If you do, give it a try. I'd love to hear what you thought about it, and we will continue to spread that chicken as far as I can possibly spread it, and I'll let you know how it goes. God bless you guys.